Hi, I'm Dylan. This is a time-lapse video of me building a stool with a Shaper Origin handheld CNC router. I'm putting down some tape markers about three inches apart and then scanning to get the vision system on the tool to know where it is. I designed everything in SolidWorks. I'm doing two passes with a quarter inch up-down cutter and making tabs as I go to hold the pieces in place because I wanted to keep the whole board intact as I went. I was doing a lot of cutting on the ground and realized that it was going to be a lot of work uh, bending over so I did end up uh, putting some tables out, putting everything up on top as you can see here and working up high. The tool has a USB light that helps it see the markers as you go and it's important that it can always see at least four or five markers so I'm working across the board in a way where it always can see markers that are not cut because I'm cutting through other markers. There's quite a lot of time spent cutting in this project, maybe eight hours or so. And uh, really this is the second project I've done with this tool. It ended up really being designed for this tool. And so I spent a lot of time cutting pieces, which then you'll see I laminate layers together of this plywood like the legs are three layers thick and a footrest that's three layers and the top seat is five layers so once I get all the pieces cut out then I cut the tabs out break all the pieces out I ended up getting a reciprocating table sander which really helps uh, cleaning up edges and getting rid of those tabs which you'll see here as I start to uh, work with all the pieces separately. Then I had this idea to stain the inner layers, which I did ahead of time, and it looked nice, but then when I glued the pieces together, they didn't line up quite well enough, so I ended up sanding the laminated pieces and taking a lot, off a lot of that inner stain. So I ended up painting the stain on again after things were laminated which was a lot of work. Don't exactly recommend doing that, but uh, it did end up looking nice, but not quite as good as I wanted it to. The lines were a little fuzzy. Uh, I did end up uh, fitting everything a lot, tweaking things. The material I used was a 3 8 inch thick birch plywood from McBeath Hardwood in Berkeley. And it was actually only 355 thousandths thick as opposed to the nominal 375 so I did adjust the tool paths for that but I might have forgot on the on the footrest because it fit a little loose I ended up putting some shims in there to get that to fit nicely so there's a lot of sanding and fitting but the tool actually did a nice job uh, making good edges I just uh, had a couple spots where I went out of the line and made a nick as the tool lifted up I was able to sand all of those out pretty much. I was quite impressed with what this tool could do for such a small tool that you can pack away under your desk. I would definitely uh, use this tool a lot in uh, anything that you need some custom shapes where you don't want to have a router jig made or something. Uh, it's pretty quick to go from a 3D CAD to 2D artwork right into a uh, stool like this so I ended up gluing on some rubber feet on the bottom at the end so that I could um, have it nice and soft on whatever kind of flooring it's on I was designing this mostly to have out here in the garage for using at the shop on the, the high workbench I used a polyurethane to uh, do a finish clear finish end up looking pretty nice the other thing in there was an art frame that I did. It was the first project I did with this tool. It was kind of a simple test, get to know the tool. And then I designed this specifically for the tool. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.